Hi, this is problem 20 from the 2020 AMC 10A. Quadrilateral ABCD satisfies right angle at B and C, length AC of 20, length CD of 30. The two diagonals intersect at point E such that AE is 5. What is the area of the quadrilateral? Okay, this looks kind of difficult. Uh, let's make a rough sketch so we can see what we're dealing with. It looks like we know the dimensions of triangle DCA so let's start with that. Length CD is 30, so let's draw the base down here. And point A is 20 units away from C. And it looks like we're going to form point E one quarter of the way down AC. So it looks like we're going to break up AC into four parts. That's going to be point E. We're going to draw line DE, and we need to park the vertex B on line DE such that there's a right angle at B, so that would put it right about there, I think. Okay, that's pretty good. So I sense that a scale drawing is really going to help us out here because it looks like we already know the area of DCA. The area of DCA is 300. So the real question mark is, well, what's the area of triangle ABC? And if we can figure that out, we'll know the total area and probably be able to select from the, uh, from the choices. So uh, let's go ahead and make a good scale drawing. Okay, so I'm gonna choose a scale factor of 2 fifths so that this drawing fits neatly on our video screen. So let's go ahead and draw this. Now, of course, on an actual AMC, I would be using a pencil right now, but let me see if I can do this with a pen so I can show this a little more clearly. Okay, that's a good scale drawing. Now let's see what we can do with it. Now the right triangle ABC has hypotenuse AC, which suggests that we could draw in a semicircle to complete that part of the diagram. And the semicircle intersects vertex B. Uh, let's fill in the other side of the semicircle. That looks to be useful as well. Okay, the semicircle intersects at a point we'll call it F, and it looks like we know what the length of FC is. That just runs along a 45 degree line, so we know its length, 10 root 2 from Pythagoras. And we also know the length of FE. By Pythagoras, we know that's 5 root 5. And we also know that triangle FEC is similar to triangle AEB, and the length scale ratio is root 5, so the area scale factor is 5. So if we knew the area of FEC, which we can calculate, we can divide by 5 to get the area of ABE, and it looks like ABC is 4 times the area of AEB. So that seems to be the mathematical approach, but this scale drawing is so accurate, it seems as though we can just measure the area of ABC, so let's give that a try. So we notice that the altitude from B to the hypotenuse is 2.4 centimeters. Multiplying up by our scale factor, 5 halves, gives us the altitude from B to A. Multiplied by the base of 20 times 1 half, 5 times 2.4 is 12, 20 divided by 4 is 5. So that gives us the area of 60 for triangle ABC, and that should get us to our answer. Okay, so getting back to our problem page, we discovered that the area of triangle ABC is very close to 60, 
and it would appear that our answer is then 360. And it, it appears at first that these choices are very close together, but not really. It turns out that these choices are really 300 plus 40, 300 plus 50, plus 60, plus 70. So we're not really deciding between 340, 350, 360, and 370. We're really deciding between 40, 50, 60, and 70. And those are pretty widely spaced, roughly 20, 15, 20%. So I feel pretty confident that the answer is in fact 360 for choice D.